Hi there, my name is Andrew, and this is the first episode of Week Tip series brought to you by thispeople.com. Week Tips are very short tutorials that show you a way of solving different tasks in 3D Studio Max, Photoshop, and Vero Rendering Engine. From now, we will post new Week Tip episode in every Monday, so stay in touch, and I hope you like it. In this episode, I would like to show you a fast and effective way of doing all sorts of perforate panels, grills, fences, and grids. So, how people usually do such things? There are two major ways. First are mesh geometry models, second are alpha maps. In this tutorial I will show you a third way of doing this. Geometry modeled grids are best solution in close camera views, but it only works when the shape of grid isn't changed. For example, straight fences and ceiling panels. In all situations we can use instant duplicated copy and it's not going to kill our RAM memory. This is a sample scene I created for this tutorial. As you can see, we have very long twisted and curved ribbon with transparent pattern. This is a real mesh model. It looks good, but it takes a lot of memory. There's nothing more in this scene and it's already take almost 3 gig of RAM to render this. Alpha maps are rendering fast and are suitable in most cases. Problem appears in close-up, when you can see that grid is a flat panel with no depth at all. But what can we do in situations when our grid need to be curved and twisted, need to cover a large surface and need to be a real geometry object? Let's find out. This is scene I use for rendering with opacity map. You can find this scene and all other source file on our website www.vis-people.com. Let's open Material Editor and delete map from opacity slot. Now select our ribbon object and go to Modify Panel. Add Vray Displacement modifier. For Displacement method choose 2D Displacement. Add Displacement map from source files and set Displacement amount for 0.4. Let's see how it looks now. As you can see, ribbon is not transparent. Let's fix it. But instead of using opacity map, we will use water level parameter inside of displacement modifier. What water parameter do is simply cut and remove geometry that is below of value we set. Let's set it on 0.05. Great, our grid get depth and background is removed. But when we look a little closer, we can see that backside of a ribbon is concave. That's because displacement works only in polygon normals direction. There is a simple way to fix it. Rename ribbon object to front, duplicate it and name new object as back. When back object is selected, we need to flip its polygon normals. Now let's do another test render. We're almost there. As you can see, there is a gap between front and back object. That's because we used water level function before. So now, we need to move our object back just to fit value from water level function. To do this, we will add push modifier just below displacement modifier in both object. Let's find out the final effect. Great, our ribbon is ready. Visual effect is exactly the same like we use modeled grid, but the scene is lighter and RAM memory is almost untouched. That's all for today, I hope you enjoyed this. Visit us at www.vis-people.com 
and look out for a new episode of This People Week Tips next Monday.